So we're given the task here, finding the area of this compound shape. And as you can see, it's made up of a rectangle here and a semicircle and a semicircle. So essentially, it's a circle because we have two halves of a circle, right? Okay, so the very first thing we should probably have a go at is trying to find the area of the rectangle. That's usually the easiest place to start. We know that the formula for area of a rectangle is length and width. So we've got the length, which is 15, right? And we just have to find the width. We're not explicitly given the width, but we can figure it out. Because from here to here on the circle, which is the same as from here to here, right, it's 5. So we know that the radius of the circle is 5. So we know that half of that base there that's drawn in is 5. And this must be 5 as well. So we know that the whole width from here to here, that's 10. So it'll be 10. So we know that the area then is 15 times 10, which is 150. Okay, so that's going to be 150 centimeters squared. We just need now to find out the area of the circle. So let's go about doing that. The area of a circle is area equals pi r squared. And we can use our calculator to do most of the heavy lifting. We just have to identify the radius. The radius has already been given to us, luckily. It's 5 squared. And I just need my calculator to do some calculations. So it's going to be pi times 5 squared equals 78.539. So Okay, uh, it's a full circle, so I, it's a half a circle and a half a circle, so we can leave it like that because that's the full circle. The full circle is 78.539 centimeters squared. Uh, we have to round it to one decimal place, so what we do is we add 78.539 to 150, so that's the circle. The 150 was the original rectangle, so just add them up. 9, 3, 5, 8, two, one, okay. Round it to one decimal place. So there we go. The area of this compound shape is 228.5 centimeters squared. Finished.